Hi guys, I'm back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Let me look myself up again. Sorry, that took a little longer than I thought. I just rebooted my, my modem. I thought maybe that would help. Um. <laughs> Hi, Summers. Hi, Pat. Hi, Manji. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pat, there is a pair of ears I was going to show you, and I keep forgetting... Hold on, let me find them again. Let's see. I put them... I... I should have put them, like, aside. Oh, no, 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 where are they? Okay, I can't find them now, but I'm sure I'll find them. Oh, my goodness! So much to show still. I don't know what happened, but I did reboot the modem. And, um, you know what I learned is that when, and this could be a big problem for me, is that when you have your modem, you shouldn't have a bunch of metal next to it or gemstones because that messes with everything. Hi, Becky. <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. Um, so it's kind of like it messes with the, the, what's the field called? Um, the, um electrical field, what is it called, there's a word for it, uh, I know you guys will think of it, I can't think of it right now, magnetic field, magnetic field, it does mess with the magnetic field, and I did some research on it, and it's a thing, so I do have a bunch of gemstones sitting in here, and I, they're not near my modem over there, but there's a bunch of metal over there, <laughs> Okay, I will, Pat. They're um, hearts, and then they have stones, and I don't remember what the... There are three prongs set um, stones in there, and I don't remember... I don't remember what stones they were. I, I want to say sapphire? That's what made me think of you, but they could have been garnets. I can't remember. Pardon me. Um, okay, so back to the set. So, let's see, we're going to do this whole set, vintage earrings, all natural wood, and this is, so let me explain, this is like a black wood, they're hand carved, these are hishi, they're kind of in like a brown, um, medium brown, kind of, um, Oh, what's that color called? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can't remember. Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm so drawing a blank today tonight. Then it's a I'm gonna call him a liger, tiger, and um, like in uh, that one movie. <laughs> I can't even think of the movie name. <laughs> what is that movie? Uh, you know that really nerdy guy, and he's like, it's like a liger. <laughs> that was hilarious that movie it was so stupid it was hilarious do you guys know what movie I'm talking about uh gosh and he said that a lot gosh Zyger <laughs> what was the name of that movie it was hilarious <laughs> so stupid. It was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, he called something a, a liger. A leopard and a tiger, maybe? Anyways, um, so we're going to call this a, what, a zyger. <laughs> a zebra tiger. And um, it's got the hoop earrings, wood earrings, the two bracelets. These are huge bracelets. This is more of a medium wood color. It matches the earrings, but it with the lighting, you can't really see that. But these are very nice. So I'm going to save this whole set, $25 if anyone's interested. Two bracelets, the necklace, and the earrings. And it's beautiful. It's actually very nice. Very nice set. Just save one. 
Oh. Sorry, I just had like a weird pain in my head. <laughs> weird pain <laughs> from thinking too hard. What is the name of that movie? Do you guys know which one I'm talking about? It was like this really nerdy guy and... <laughs> oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Maybe if someone Googled um, Liger, it'll come up. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Gosh. It was hilariously stupid. <laughs> I gotta look it up now because it's killing me. Oh, um, um, oh, dynamite. Uh, oh, hold on. Who said Liger? Dynam uh, Napoleon Dynamite. Napoleon Dynamite. Have you guys seen that movie? So stupid, but hilarious. Yes. Yeah. Becky, did you like it? I found it hilarious. <laughs> it was so stupid. It was so funny. And I liked how he talked. Gosh. <laughs> yes, Summers, yeah. It's like a liger. <laughs> He's hilarious. He's done so many characters. <laughs> oh my god. I about died when I watched that. And you know what's another funny movie that I thought was hilarious, but it's so stupid? Um, from BTS. Oh, Dynamite from that group, the Korean singing group. Um his dance, yeah, I don't remember it now. It's been a while since I watched it. But, um, Nacho Libre, okay, with that one, um, what's his name? What's that actor's name? He's hilarious, so. It's so stupid, it's so funny. And at the time, I think I was, I was very depressed because, um, I think that's when, I think my mom got sick around that time and, like, nothing made me laugh. You know, Jack Black. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God. That is so hilarious. <laughs> it's so stupid. I mean, like a, a bunch of the parts are so dumb, but the majority are, it's just funny. And yes, BTS. I know who they are. They are so cute. Um, BTS, like, uh, they're a cute Korean singing group. I, I know I like them. I think they were... They sang a song in English, all English. I was pretty impressed. Anyways, I just think those stupid movies are funny. They made me laugh when I couldn't laugh. I was very sad and upset, depressed when my mom first got ill. So thank you to those silly, stupid movies. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I, I could still watch Nacho Libre. I like the his little sidekick. You know, remember his skinny sidekick um, in Nacho Libre? And he was, like, really skinny, and he had this weird smile, and he would eat salad. <laughs> so stupid, you guys. It was hilarious. And he would eat with his big grin, and he would smile with his weird grin. And, um, and then Jack Black would ride this bike. It was, like, a motorized bike into town. And... <laughs> He would like start it up and it would like, hmm. He had like a little <laughs> accelerator. <laughs> it was hilarious. On his handlebars. <laughs> it was so hilarious. Oh my god, it was just too funny. Hi Gianna, how are you? <laughs> We're just talking about these stupid movies. Napoleon Dynamite and um, uh, uh, Nacho Libre. They were so stupid. I loved them though. Oh, did they, Pat? I, I thought so, because I, I thought I, I had seen something on TV about them, the BTS group. They're so cute. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to pass on this if no one's interested. Um, sorry, total detour on... <laughs> oops, I don't know what I just did. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, but it freeze again. Pat, you're going to watch it and say, why does she like this? 
<laughs> but it's so stupid. It was funny. I mean, it made me laugh when nothing could make me laugh. I was like so depressed. Nothing made me laugh. And <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing with that stupid movie. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, we're going to pass with this set. Um, we're going to move on to another set. Ooh, hold on. I don't want that to fall. Uh-oh. This one of the earring. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Too funny. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you have to tell me what you think, but I mean, it is silly, stupid, I admit, but I needed that at the time, you know? <laughs> okay. Oops, wait, this goes here. All right. Um, let's do, let's do this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is going to be another set, and it all, like, matches. I'm going to sell it as a set. Um, what are you guys saying? Okay, you're going to watch that movie. Good. <laughs> so this is all natural wood beads, earrings, two sets of earrings, and a bracelet. The bracelet has etching on it. Etchings, I should say. It looks yellow. It's not that yellow. Um, it's just my lighting. But it has, these are all vintage pieces, so I'm going to sell this as a set. So you get the two necklaces, um, and then you get the rhino earrings, and then the blonde earrings. These earrings are like J-hoops also, but see how they get thicker, and then they get thinner at the end? And they all match. The wood is like really nice complementary color for every piece. This. Did I say the price already? I don't think I did. So this set will be $20 if anyone's interested. It's all vintage. You get the brown bead necklace. You get this high gloss wood necklace with the wood bangle. The rhino earrings and the J um, hoop earrings. Twenty $20 if anyone's interested. And this would look really cute, too, if you kind of tied it, like, um, made it, like, tassel style, because it's long enough. Make it close so you can see. And you're probably thinking, I mean, I think the rhino earrings, that totally reminds me of, like, the 90s, 80s and 90s. So that's probably when those were made. The, ear, the other earrings and the bracelet, probably 70s, and I'm not sure about the necklaces, to be quite honest. Um, no interest. We're going to pass. Okay, I'm going to put it back here because I, I, mean, I don't have any more space over here. Okay. This here, it's a ring... Um, a bracelet, and I'll just, ooh, um, maybe I'll do, let's see, I'm going to separate this because not all of it goes together, but it is beautiful. Okay, we'll do this. All right. So we have this necklace, big beads, this is a little vintage piece also. I'm going to pair it with this stretchy bracelet. I don't think this is vintage, I mean it might be a little older but not that vintage, but I just thought the colors all coordinated nicely. And then this ring, this ring is like made to look vintage also, but it is vintage, and I think this is stainless steel. Let me hold it. Where's my? Yeah, stainless, or it could be brass. I think it's gold stainless, and then this big. I think this is in a faceted acrylic bead, but I thought it was pretty to put it all together. 
the set here. And this stone looks a lot brighter in this lighting than it really is. It actually all coordinates really nicely. But it's a really pretty ring. Made to look vintage, but it is vintage also. Then we have stretchy bracelet. And then this necklace, it's all wood. And then it has, let's see, that's wood. Actually, these are all wood too. They're just kind of like polished. So for this set here, I'm going to do this set for $15 if anyone's interested. $15. And the ring, I don't, rem I have to measure the size, but it's a pretty ring, but it's not a, it's not a gemstone, just so you guys know. I, it looks like brass, but I'm pretty sure it's stainless. Okay, so no interest in this set. We'll move on. Uh, I'm going to put this back over here, actually. Because I'm kind of losing room. <laughs> Alright, this next one. Boy, my lips are chapped right now. Hold on, let me put some... Um, let me put some chapstick on. Thanks, guys, for the thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, it feels so much better. Now, this one is interesting. I almost, I don't know if I should sell this one because this does have that green filigree in between the, um, these are bone he-she beads, like thick he-she beads, but you can like kind of scrape it off. Like um, I'll show you here in a second. I just scraped off a little bit, but I don't feel comfortable in selling it now that I think about it. It's so pretty though, but the filigree is pretty prominent. I'm just going to show you. It's vintage, it's brass, very heavy brass, and then it's got the um, bone uh, beads. I'm just going to show you. These are just heavy, very heavy brass. All brass so as you can see if I like do that you can see the filigree inside and I think that's from the little he she bead I think in the in between and it just made a mark and see how some of the filigree will come off that is kind of natural with metals against like other material but I don't know I don't think I want to sell that because I don't want anyone that, I don't know if it's going to come off, to be honest. And it's in between each of the bone and metal beads. But, God, it's beautiful with the brass. It's just, it's got the filigree in between. So, I'm going to put this one aside. Um, I, don't, I don't want anyone to have to deal with that. Alright, is there anything else that I have over here? Um, I that necklace, that one, what was going on with that one? I don't remember. Okay, I was going to sell this as a set. I think this is stainless. No, it's silver time, but I, it looks, it's very thick and it looked nice with this set because it had silver beads. So this set... Blonde wood. Um, these are shell beads, hishi style shell beads. Wood, wood, and I don't remember. I think these are yeah acrylic and had silver beads in between. So for this whole set with the bangle, um, I'm gonna say 15. And this is they're all old. They're all vintage. 15 for the set. Very chunky. Just different lengths. 
15. If anyone wants it, just say want. Okay, Summers, you want this one, this set? I think you want this set. Yeah, I think so. Okay, thank you so much, Summers. I'm going to, you have my info, don't you? In case I don't have yours, I don't know if I have yours, but just in case, I'm going to put my email in the um, chat here. So hold on, let me put this in a bag because I don't want this. I need a big bag. One second, please. I thought I had a big bag. Oh, here we go. Buddy, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing over here? Okay, Summers. I will pack it nicely for you. And let me put my email. Let me write it down. Summers. And we're just going to call it Vintage Wood Shell necklace set lot okay and let me put down my email real quick um thank you so just send me all your info like you normally would anyone else um make sure i spelled everything right creative glory 2 at gmail.com there it is thank you so much finished another glass of water. All right, the next one, let's see, I showed you guys, okay, let's show this one. Now, I think I might keep this one because it's super cute. I'll show it, but let me take this one. This one doesn't fit with that. All right, these are, I'm going to sell this as a little lot. These are, I don't, this is like a hemp cord it may look like it's dirty, it's not. It's just the color of the cotton, maybe hemp cord. Um, and then it has all these coins. These coins are from, let's see. They're really nicely made, they're very heavy. Uh, I think they're Middle Eastern, I think. Oh no. Hmm. They could be Chinese. They look like Chinese, actually. I think. I'm not really sure, to be honest, but they're beautiful and they're beautifully made. So it's this necklace with all these coins on them that have like, um, see? That little like bezel for each one. They're very thick and heavy. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen of the coins. And I like how they're all a little bit, you know, different colors a bit. And see what I mean about the cord? It's not dirty, it's actually the color of the cord. So there's that one. This is vintage. And then there's this, which is Peruvian. I showed this last time, but I'm putting these two together. There's three coins. One of them says um, 1986. I think it's the biggest one. And then it's got, it's very like, kind of macrame-ish, kind of boho. Sort of looks like Himalayan almost, don't you think? It's like a light rust color, blues very long. Oops, you can shorten it though. Really nice. I'm going to sell both of these together if anyone's interested for 15. They're both long. They both are coins. That's why I put them together. And they're both vintage. If I didn't say that already. 15. 
Okay, thank you, Summers. I think they're super cool. I love this style. And I've really gotten more into it, actually, again, lately. So, yeah, love it. This looks like it's almost, like, I mean, excellent condition. This one is 10 centavos. This one is 5 centavos. And then I don't know how much this one is, but I think this is the real coin. I'm not sure about the other two because they didn't have the year on them, but this one did. So, super cool. Hopefully these are worth something I don't know, but I think they're pretty cool, just separately, separate necklaces. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, so we got summers on those two. Let me put these, let me get, let me see. Uh, this is, yeah, let me put them in here for now, and then I'll get it. We'll wrap these nicely. I just don't want to get it mixed up. Thank you so much. And this one I might keep because, um, I don't know, unless someone is interested, but it's beautiful. It's like brand new condition. Um, I'll write down everything in a second, but it's this heart is made out of, it's dyed coconut shell. It's hand carved. looks kind of orangey here, but it's actually more maroon from my lighting. So it's a beautiful, like, convex heart. It's pretty big with wood beads. And then this is wax cord here. And it's really pretty. And then it has a nice little extender. It's like an excellent new condition. Like no one wore it. But I would totally wear this one too. Anyways, if anyone's interested in this one, it's $5. And it's, I believe, made out of coconut shell. Hand carved coconut shell. That's pretty that way too. But it's really pretty. I like it. And it's like brand new. And it's a multi-strand wax cord of one, two, three, six strands on each side. Okay. We'll put this one back here. Save myself some room. Oops, let me write down Summer's items real quick. That was the, I'm just going to call it the Vintage Coin necklace lot I'll put more info in the invoice thank you so much um <coughs> excuse me okay next one we'll do let's do this ring this is pretty this one is a seven size seven and I believe this is oops yeah it's stainless it's really cool it kind of looks like wire wrap but it's not it's like a knuckle ring very thick it's a size seven um, this is just going to be a buy it now. If you like it, just say want. Hey, Caroline. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, thank you for coming by. <laughs> it's kind of asymmetrical. I don't know if you guys can see that. See that? Um, if you are interested in this one, let's say... It's very nice, actually. Let's say $6 if anyone's interested. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? I saw your last video. I don't know what to do with those beads. <laughs> I'm, I'm so not, I don't make jewelry, so I'm like, gosh, what could she do with them? Those colors are beautiful. I love the jewelry you make, though, so I know you're going to make something beautiful. So, guys, check out Kathleen Brandt. She makes beautiful, stunning jewelry. Beautiful. So nice chunky piece, size seven, six dollars, and it's stainless steel. I don't always leave comments because sometimes when I watch videos, I'm just about ready to go to bed or something, and I'm kind of loopy, so I don't want to say something so silly, you know what I mean? Anyways, size seven, this one's stainless steel, and it's six dollars. Yes, size 7. It's, I would say a little bit bigger than a 7, 
Hey. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. You can close that door when you do your laundry. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. All right, we're going to pass on the ring. And let's see. I have a cine, um, goldstone. I almost said cinnabar. Goldstone ring here. It's sterling silver. And it is a size... Five. It's a bispit split band. It's hand carved. Um, hey, welcome back, Jennifer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Karen. So, bispit split band. Beautiful bezel. Um, hand carved gold stone. And I got to look at my paperwork here. Uh, da, 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 gold stone ring. Yes. This one is a buy it now. It's $25. And it is sterling silver. Thank you. Size 5, though. But look at that. It's beautiful. And it is gold stone. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool, Kathleen. I haven't seen some of your stuff lately, but I haven't... I've been lurking. I just don't comment sometimes. I've been doing that probably since, well, for a couple months. I know. I know. Isn't it pretty? It is really pretty. It doesn't fit me either because I kind of like it. It looks like Cinnabar, but it's not. Okay, moving on from that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have... I'm going to show this one. I have two of these. Did I sell one last week? I don't remember. I think I did. I'm going to show this one, though. So this is Howlite. It's a skeleton uh, pendant, but I don't remember... Um, Marucha said a, a name for it, the, the skeleton. It has a name to it. Um, what did you guys say? What size do you need, Jennifer? Oh. Do you guys know the name of that style of skeleton? She had a name for it. It's thick howlite. It's new. These are acrylic beads. Uh, let me see. I think they're both acrylic beads. This is a nylon knot style. Uh, I think it's 18 inch. It, it hits right about here. Like right here. It's like perfect. For a teenage boy, boy, girl. Um, anyways, it's $5 if anyone's interested. And it's pretty thick how light. Gosh, I wish I could remember the name. She had a, it was a very distinct name. I don't remember it. Look at I'm sweating. It's, I don't know why it's so hot in here. Ugh, it's been like 111 all day. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. I'm trying to think. Is this for your son or are you going to, because I have, I might have the second one, but I don't, I'm not for sure. If I find it, I'll let you know. I don't know if I sold the other one, but anyway. Has it been hot where you go? Becky, is it hot where you're at? It was like 111 today. And 111 yesterday. Oh my gosh, so hot. And I had to go feed these kitties that weren't my um, cats to feed, but bless their hearts, you know, they were so hungry when I got there. <laughs> I was covering for another lady, and I about died. I was, like, sweating bullets, and I already didn't feel good. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see. How late? I'm going to find out the name, because it's driving me nuts. 
Halite Skull Necklace. There's a certain name. When I find out, I'll put it on the invoice. But thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. What did you just say? Yes, it's crazy hot. 109 here today. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, you go outside and you're immediately sweating. And it's like a dry heat, but still, I mean, it's like a blow dryer in your face. That's what it feels like. See, I spend, I spend most of my money on things that I want to make jewelry with, so I can't afford to buy any. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, Kathleen. <laughs> no worries. I know, you make beautiful jewelry, so you just continue making your beautiful jewelry. And then when you make your money, spend it on yourself. That's what I say. <laughs> because you deserve it. <laughs> um, let's see. What am I going to show next? Did I sell? Hold on. Let me see here. I... I kind of mix everything up today by accident. I didn't mean to... Okay, hold on. Yeah, let me, oh, here we go. This one's also, we'll do this one for $4. It's the same idea, same type of necklace, but it's Dalmatian um, Obsidian. So if anyone would like this one for $4, I already showed it earlier, but it's new. And it's a nylon cord, same cord as the other one. I believe these are, yeah, both acrylic, and then this is a Dalmatian Obsidian Gem. Hi, Lydia! And there's another person who makes beautiful jewelry. <laughs> this is Lydia. How are you? But this one's new, too. These are great stocking stuffers, I think. And they're just inexpensive little pieces of jewelry. But nice big stone. Sending love and support always. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. You're so sweet. <laughs> Jenna asked about your ring size. They're going to be mystical. Some rings. Says, oh, maybe I'll go back um, to those rings. I had a jade one and I can't remember the other one. Okay, so let me put that there. And... Where did, what are you really doing? Oh, okay. Oh yes, let me, let me show you guys that. And, I'll show you guys those. <laughs> and I'll show you that, that's cute. Okay, and I'll show this one. This is a sterling silver Greek key ring, um, marked, what does it say in there? Buddy, what are you doing? I love you. What are you doing? Okay, just 925. And I didn't have a chance to clean it, but it is size 8 and 3 quarters. Hold on, let me clean it real quick. You know, it's funny, I don't like tarnished silver, but I like tarnished copper and brass. I like that. That look is okay. But I don't like it on silver. I feel like it looks dirty or something. You know what I mean? Am I the only weirdo that thinks that? I don't care how old the piece is. I don't like it when it looks tarnished. <laughs> Anyways, it's a Greek key, eight and three quarters. We'll do this one, it's pretty thick um, silver. We'll do this one for 15 if anyone's interested. Just say want. Oh, uh, I'm missing the chat. Let's see, let me read it real quick. Um, oh, Lydia, I'm good. I was sick this week, but I'm much better. Caroline, I am praying for you. Oh, did I love 
love shiny silver. I agree. She got her black cowboy hat. Woohoo, that's right. Because my hair is so messed up from the heat. It's like I thought, I'm going to go on. I don't care. But my hair totally got messed up today. What happened, Caroline? I think I missed what happened. Let me read. Hold on. Let me go back up. Um, I don't see it. You don't have to say, but I'm... Um, I hope you feel better, Caroline. Anyways, 15 if anyone wants it. Uh, it's... Oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> uh, it is an eight... Eight and three quarters. Eight and three quarters. Good night, Kathleen. Thank you for coming in. As always, we love it when you come in. I hope you're doing well. Especially with this coronavirus. So Greek keys. So the Greek keys part is oxidized silver. All right. There we go. That's a good, yeah, you can kind of see. Okay. Get down, buddy. Can you get down? He's like, why are you shoving me off? <laughs> okay. This. I'm not sure about this piece, so I'm going to hold on to it. But God, it's so cute. It's I, I'm not sure if it was meant to be a pendant or on a bracelet, but it's like a fan, an Asian fan with like herons. See the design, the herons? Um, I don't know if you could see. They're like herons flying and then the Japanese blossom. But I don't know... Or like kind of like a bonsai type thing. No, wait, they're not. Is that a heron? Yeah, herons. Um, but see, it has like a hoop, like for a pendant on the top and the bottom. So I don't know if that's supposed to be for like a, um, you know, like a, a, what's it called, a bracelet. But look at it, it closes. Isn't that cute? I swear, if, I feel like I've seen this before, like when I was younger. But anyways, oops. Yeah, it's super cute. I'm going to look it, look into it because I don't know what exactly it is. But it's so cute. It's a little fan. <laughs> a little Asian fan. Pendant or bracelet or thingy. Okay. I have a um, strawberry shortcake brooch. Oops. If anyone's interested in this, I'm going to throw in the breast cancer. Is this one breast cancer? The yellow? What is the yellow? I don't remember. Oh, army, right? Army or military? Military? Oh, yes. We can talk about the swirly ring. <laughs> So I'm going to sell these two together. This is the um, strawberry shortcake brooch. And I think it's marked on the back. Let me see. Yeah, I can't read what it says. A G G. A G C. Incorporated or something. Anyways, if anyone's interested in the strawberry shortcake, and I think that's a military. Yeah, military. Okay, thank you, Summers. I think I just heard it go ping. <laughs> thank you. So this is five dollars. If anyone's interested, I love strawberry shortcake. I still have my original dolls. Yes, I know. I love this ring. <laughs> Isn't it cool? <laughs> so $5. Okay, thank you. It's so cute. 
This is my favorite. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you, Becky. Okay. down real quick because I will forget. Uh, I have forgotten. <laughs> so Becky. Uh, strawberry. Shortcake. Pen. Military. Pen. Or brooch I should say for the strawberry shortcake. I uh, thank you so much. Yes. Good night, Lydia. I know. I love. I still have all my dolls. I still have all the original dolls. I love them. I still have my Smurfs, my Barbies. I wasn't really into Care Bears. I think I have one Care Bear, Care Bear, but I'm not. I was never really into them. I had Cabbage Patch, but I sold them. I. I. I don't know. I wasn't really that into them. They were something I got and collected, but I don't know. This ring, this is a vintage ring. Um, this one I did write down. Let's see, where did I put it? Oh, where is it? Here we go. I wrote down swirl ring. <laughs> Oops. Now, it is very thick, and I, I want to say it's adjustable because I kind of pulled it out a little bit. But as it is right now, it's... Um, a six and a half but I don't know if you can tell see you can pull it I just didn't want to pull too hard but anyways um, if you are interested in this ring we will start this at $45 it's very thick and I, I do like it. I think it's really beautiful. It's very, it's an art, artisan ring. Very thick. I can weigh it too. Good night, Summers. I'm back from a trip. I'm exhausted. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm glad you went on a trip. Yes. So, I do love this ring. If anyone's interested, I'll weigh it if you're interested, but... I think it's kind of cool. It's very thick. It kind of looks like a hand forged ring too. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let me show this. So this is, I believe this is stainless steel. So the turtles, which have a lot of detail, are stainless, but the little jump rings in between are silver tone, just so you guys know. Um, and it has little hang tags that's off on the side here. If anyone's interested in this cute little turtle um, bracelet, I don't know if you could see all the detail on the sea turtles, but there's so much detail like on their fins, their hands and feet, and their, their shell. Really cute. If anyone's interested in this, this is $5. Just say want. And uh, I'm just going to send it this way because I already had it in the packaging. All of a sudden I got hungry. <laughs> I feel like a Greek salad with feta and olives and oh that sounds so good right now. Okay we're going to pass on that one. These are oh wait here let me show this one first. So this is a little set. It's what size ring? Size 8 ring, stainless steel, but in gold. And a stretchy bracelet. Um, they're all bronze color. Oop. Shoot, I almost knocked this over. Good night. Uh, let's see, is Caroline, are you going to sleep? No. So it's a stretchy bronze um, bracelet. And then you have this ring, which is stainless, and it has like the bronze two-tone color. So it's like a champagne color and then like a bronzy color. So for the two, um, $5. It's a size 8 ring. And it is, I don't know if you could see it. It's like a bypass ring. 
Oh no, it's not a bypass ring, but it kind of looks like a bypass ring. It's nice. It's a cute set. Thank you. Uh, Hussan. Builder Hassan. Five dollars. For the set. Okay. And let's see. These. These are rose quartz and amethyst. And they're a little bit crooked in here. Um, and they're sterling silver. They're kind of crooked. <laughs> but it's all sterling, all rose quartz. And then the, in the middle, the purple is amethyst. I'm going to sell these just for tonight only. Because I usually sell these for more. These are $5. And it's all sterling and rose quartz and amethyst. I already have it marked for you in the back, so you know what it is. All right, thank you, Becky. You can wear sterling, right? You, yeah, you can wear sterling. What What is a metal you can't wear? I can't remember. Um, what is that? I don't remember. It's making my head itch now. <laughs> Oops. Okay, let's see. Ameth uh, rose quartz. Amethyst. Um, 925. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Brass. Somehow we keep missing each other. Jonathan, you've broken Liz's heart. She mentioned to you the other day and said you didn't come there anymore. <laughs> oh, you might want to pop it and cheer her up. Oh, <laughs> yellow gold. That's right. Yeah, that's too bad <laughs> on that. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. These are, um, branch coral and freshwater pearls in sterling silver. So tonight only I'm going to sell these for $7. And they are freshwater pearl. They're more red, but my camp, the lighting makes them look orangey. But it's actually like a true blue red. And they're all silver. Um, branch coral. There's three pieces on each. And then the freshwater pearls. And they're $7. If anyone's interested. And it is labeled. So if you resell... You already have it ready. And it, I guess you could hang it if you had like a little fixture thingy. Okay, we're going to pass on that one. All right, let me put these over here. Where am I going to put these? Yeah, I'm going to put it over here. This is a Celtic um, ring, and it's sterling silver. It's uh, six and three quarters, and Celtic, Celtic. Um, all right, so this one's going to be a buy it now, and it's a Celt. It's, this one's a vintage also. Six, six and three quarters. Okay. I gotta get that on my. And this one's gonna be twenty dollars. If anyone's interested, just say want. And it's a Celtic, so it has like a lip on both sides of the Celtic um, braid. I guess that's if that's what you want to call it. And it's six and three quarters. Okay, we can pass on this too. I need to get some more water real quick, you guys. I'm like parched. <laughs> I feel like a little lizard trying to get some water. 
Ugh, I need water. I've just been so dehydrated. I mean, I've been sweating bullets, and then I didn't feel good, and I lost more de or more hydration. Yeah, I think I just need to catch up with my water. Hold on, guys. Okay, you guys are talking amongst yourselves. Then I'll show you this next set. I think, did Summers go to bed? Shoot, I should have shown her that one, too. I think she already went to bed. Hold on, guys. One second. Ugh. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. I'm moving a little slow, too, because I keep re-injuring my knees. They're, like, torn meniscus, you know? They were getting better, and then I messed them up. And I've been removing my carpet, you know? And kneeling does not help them. Hi, Chira. Okay. Let's see... Oh, you're Miss Jonathan. That should make you feel good, too. <laughs> yes. It always feels nice when someone says, you know, we missed you. <laughs> All right. Sorry, you guys. I had to go grab more water. Sierra, be quiet, please. Let's do some Native American rings. <clears throat> Let's do this one. This is a size five, and let's see. Um, yeah, so it's turquoise. It has a beautiful sawtooth bezel, which I love. Hold on, let me shine this up a bit, a little bit. I hope Monty's not here because <laughs> I know she'll like it. <laughs> and she's probably gonna get in trouble already as it is. Um, okay, this one is Hallmark. Hold on, let me shine it really quick. What I like about this ring, it's a bi-split band, but on the bi-split, it has, um, beautiful native, like, markings on it. It's an arrow. Hold on, let me... Yeah, I don't like when silver is not shiny. Okay, this one says... Oh, okay, it says sterling. And then it has something in the center, I think, is, or is that something? I can't really tell. It is. It's, wow, it's like a little face or something. Must be their hallmark. So I don't see any other hallmark on the band. No. Okay, this one, what did I say it was? It's size Five, size five. Sarah, what, look it, look who's here, Sarah. Sarah. Hey Amy, how are you? 
<laughs> oh, Manji, you're here. Uh-oh. Well, it's a smaller size, so you might not like it. <laughs> so, it's this. It's sterling. It's a vintage uh, Native American piece. So, you see the bi-split band? Bi-split is when they come together like that. And do you see the beautiful um, etching on there? It's like an arrow. See that? Really nice work. And then it has the platform with the silver balls. And then the bezel that's the sawtooth. I should have like cleaned that a little better. Hold on. Let me clean that a little bit better. Sarah. You're going to knock this camera over, girl. Look at her. She doesn't even care. Get down. She's just rubbing on my... Girl. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to see your butthole. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> She's such a terror. Okay, so I wrote this down. This one's going to be an auction. We're going to do this. We're going to start it cheap. But it's it's a nice vintage ring. It's a Native American ring. We'll start this one off at 25 if anyone's interested. And we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. Oh, Manji. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Manji. All right, anyone else? Yeah, it's a beautiful ring, actually. All right, we got Jonathan at 35. Yeah, this is an old ring because you can tell that the turquoise, even though my lighting is a little off, it's turned green. See that? So it's an old ring. And then you got the bi-split band with the etching of the arrow. I hope you can see that part. That's beautiful right there. And then all that work. We got Jonathan, Jonathan at 35, Manji 36, Jonathan 39, and really beautiful. All right. Okay. I don't see Manji putting in another number. So we are going to go once to Jonathan. Oh, we got 40 with Manji. Jonathan, are you in? Um, hold on, my arm is getting tired. Hold on, you guys, sorry. I should get closer. Hold on, let me get closer. Okay, so <laughs> Jonathan's out. Manji's at 40. I don't see anyone else. So we're going to say going once to Manji. Going twice to Manji. Three times to Manji, and we are sold to Manji. Thank you, Manji. That one is really pretty, I have to say. It's just, I like that the bi-split band has the etching of the arrow on the side, too. Thank you so much. Let me put it, hold on, let me grab the bag. Oops. Thank you very much, both of you. Okay, Manji. Um, how much was it? Forty. Okay, forty. Uh, let's see, native, turquoise, oval, ring, size. What size was that? I don't remember. I'll have to remeasure it. Okay. Thank you, you guys. <laughs> Manji, he's going to kill you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Size 5. Thank you. Size 5. Because I always like to put that on the invoice. Thank you. I, yeah, I didn't think you would like it because it was a little smaller. But, you know, make great gifts or reselling, too. Okay, let's see which other one. Let's do this one. 
Uh, this is very, I'm going to weigh this one. This one's super thick. Hold on, let me shine it up. This is citrine. I mean, peridot, excuse me, peridot. And it's like a cigar band style. Um, it is, let me see if it's marked. I can't remember. It does say 95, but it does, oops, have like a little hallmark. Hold on. Oop. It has like a little hallmark below it, but I can't, it's like, oh, I can't make that out. It's like a circle type hallmark. Not incorporated, but something. Yeah, I can't make that out. Anyways, let me show you. Let me weigh it too. It's a size six and a half. And it's got peridot. Oh, okay. Wedding ring finger. Got it. Oh, gosh, Manji, you have such small fingers. <laughs> so this is a six and a half. It's a cigar band um, with peridot, three peridot. It's very thick silver. I'm going to go weigh it really quick. But you can see it's a pretty thick band. And with peridot. Okay. Um... Let me weigh it, but we're going to start this one off at 25 and let me go weigh it really quick. That's a great price for all this silver. It's very heavy, and it's, as you can see how thick it is with the peridot. Beautiful. Let me weigh it. You have to take into account the stones, though, because I don't have this, I don't, I don't have a way to de uh, subtract that. My dad does, but I don't. Um, so when people weigh things with stones, it's actually not accurate because they have the weight of the stones in there. But that's what I'm doing right now. So it's 8.50 um, grams. It's very heavy. So I'm going to start this one off at 25.850 grams. It's a cigar band style. Sterling silver. Vintage. With peridot. And if anyone's interested, we're starting it at 25. And it's a trilogy. Three um, stones of, these are Tiffany cut um, peridot. Well, let me go back to my page. And if no one's interested, we are going to pass on this one. Good night, Amy. Uh, you know what? I forgot the size. Six and a half. Six and a half. But it's a nice, heavy cigar band style. And it's a trilogy of peridot. Too small. Yes, Carolyn, they are even my wrist is. Oh. Manji, how tall are you? I always picture you taller, but I think you're you're I you might be shorter than I am. I'm only I'm just over five five. I used to be five six, so I guess I shrunk. <laughs> God. Good night, Amy. <laughs> Alright, moving on from that one. Uh let's see. Let's 
do have some Tasco earrings. Oh, God, I love these so much. I don't even want to put these. Now, you guys can make some money on these, but I, they almost, they, um, they almost remind me, and they might be the Lotus Design etched into the silver. Now, Tasco is by far my favorite Mexican silver jewelry. Um... And it's a wonderful story. You guys have to read on Tasco. Uh, let's see. It says, <clears throat> so these are just going to be a buy it now. Because I want you guys to be able to resell these if you want to. But they are stamped TM. So usually T is for Tasco. Um, and, or TM or N? TM. So M is usually their initial. And then dash five two which is some code that they use. And then it says Sterling 925 Mexico. These are gorgeous. Let's see, what did she say? My younger son was 6'3". Not that small. My sister's almost 6 foot. Oh my gosh, so you, I thought you were tall. You're 5'7". Yeah, I, I thought you were tall. Yeah, you just have small features. Like, I don't. My... Even when I'm thin, like, I feel like I'm big boned. <laughs> That's what I call it anyways. <laughs> um, so these are Tasco. They are beautifully etched. And let me see, what can I put them on? Here, I'm going to put them on here. Yeah, let's put it on this card. These are going to be a buy it now. Because sometimes, like, auction can take a while and... And also, you guys can look these up. You can make money on these. Anything Tasco it does, you know, very, very well. Now, the backs are not sterling. I just want to say that. But I can weigh these also. They're very thick. Aren't they gorgeous? So, I believe that's a lotus flower that's etched. And... You can't see it from the camera, but it's not just etched. In the background of the etching, it's also etched. Um, it's like a crisscross design, and then the deep etching of the lotus flower. Then the pose part is also etched, like diamond cut. Look at that. It's, they're stunning, and they're very thick. They're nice size. They are beautiful. I'll weigh them really quick. Um, this is the back where it's hallmarked. These are going to be a buy it now. They're going to be $75 and just say want. You could probably sell them for $150, like on eBay. But I don't like selling on eBay really anymore unless I have to. But these are beautiful. And they're very thick, so I'm just I'm gonna weigh them really quick. Hold on, guys. Let me take the backs off because the backs are not silver. Just so you know. Hold on. Be right back. So they're basically 0 0.50, so that's what, 14 something grams? Let's see. We're just going to say 0 0.50. Yeah, so 14.17 grams. So it's quite a bit of silver. And these are just going to be a buy it now for 75 if anyone's interested. And they are Tasco. They're very thick. As you can see. Okay. We'll pass on these. Keep them on this card, I think, because it's easier to show. 
Okay, let's see. Um, let me show you this. Okay, this one. Sterling and enamel. Um, enamel. I know I wrote it down. I should have put this on a spreadsheet like I normally do. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so this is enamel, and it's all sterling silver um, bracelet. Uh, let me measure it. We. This is pretty heavy, too. I should probably weigh this, but it's. I'm going to start this off low. So it's like seven and three quarters in length. And it's a sterling bracelet with um, like brown and blue enamel. Isn't that pretty? Um, let me weigh it. It's pretty heavy. We'll start this off at $20 if anyone's interested. Thank you. Thanks, Caroline. I know. They're like a diamond cut, and then underneath is like an etching. Really beautiful. Um, and a lot of silver, too. Let's see. Yeah. This is almost 0.6 of an ounce. So I'm just going to say 0.5, which is also 14.17 uh, <laughs> grams. So we're going to start at $20, which is a great price. Starting at 20, if anyone's interested, it is a sterling and enamel bracelet. Isn't that pretty? Kind of goes with the bracelet I'm wearing. <laughs> kind of boho. The bracelet does not go with my outfit, but I liked I wanted to wear it because I liked it. <laughs> Anyone interested? If not, we will pass. Um, okay, we're going to pass. All right. Okay, there was something else I wanted to show. Is it over here? Oh, yes, this. I'll show that. And I'll show these. Oh, those are cute. Okay. All right, this is a banded agate um, brooch. And I don't remember if this was marked or not. I don't think so. It's a vintage um, brooch, but it's... Um, where's my magnet? It's stainless, but in gold. Yeah. And it's, um, it's really beautiful detail. Oh. <laughs> oh, Sarah, you scared the living... Sarah, can you please get your butt out of my face? That's disgusting. Look at her... Like, jeez. Move, Sarah. Sarah, get down. Get down. Get down. Get, I'm going to give you spanking. Sarah, get down. Whoa. She's such a turd. I had her locked in the front room. <laughs> okay, banded agate. And it's gold stainless steel. Beautiful. I love that lime color in the agate. Can you imagine? I mean, just that rock, if you found that, it's just beautiful. So it's pretty thick. It's pretty big. It is, I'm going to do it as a buy it now. 
it's an inch and a half. Buy it now for $20 if anyone's interested. It's an excellent shape for being vintage, too. I just love stones. Thank you, Lungy. Okay, if no one's interested, we're gonna I'm gonna we're gonna pass. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Hold on, let me see what else. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like, okay, I'm going to show you guys this brooch. It's a vintage brooch. Um, it's the crescent moon with a space shuttle going around. might be asleep huh <laughs> and it's got the um, articulated like airplane um, lightning strike and star and then here is the space shuttle that's going around the moon right right here Ooh, oh that's gonna fall and then I'll probably end it here you guys because I know it's getting late and I'll come on maybe again later this week because I do have much a lot more to show I'm just getting tired um, <clears throat> I will invoice you all tomorrow um, I'm gonna try to sleep in because I have not been sleeping well <laughs> and then I have to do yard work before it gets hot and then I'll invoice you all so it'll be like in the afternoon anyways if anyone's interested in this one it's six dollars. Just say want. It's a big um, brooch. It probably is nineties. Um, I'm trying to think of the brand. We used to sell them at Macy's. You know, like the, I just don't remember. I don't think it's Hallmark, but it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it, but it's pretty substantial. Almost three inches with the dangles, the art, little articulated. Okay. Good night, Jennifer. Thank you for coming on. I'll invoice you all tomorrow, and I'm going to try to get the packages out because most of you already have packages. I'll just be adding to them. So, you guys have a good night. I'm going to end it here because I am really tired. <laughs> I, I can feel it in my eyes. They're getting really dry. So, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. And I will talk to you all later. Um, maybe this week. I'm not really sure. Because it's already a short week. But, um... Uh, and I have to go feed that feral cat ladies, kitties again on Wednesday. So, maybe... I don't know. It's hard just for me to say what time or what day. But, well, I'll try. Yeah, Danecraft. Maybe, they, but it wasn't marked. I don't think it was a JJ. It could have been, because that's kind of JJ style, too. <sighs> Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I had a good time. Um, it's so hot here. Ugh. And I'm, I think I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> So thank you guys for your purchases, for your bidding, for hanging out with me, for chatting. I had a good time, so thank you, and I will see you all, if not later on this week, maybe the weekend. Thank you guys. Good, good night, Pat, or good day, Pat. Have a good day. Good night, Jonathan. Good night, Caroline, Jennifer, um, Manji. Uh, who else is here? Not sure who's left. <laughs> I think it's just you guys. <laughs> so, everyone have a blessed night, and I hope you all have a great week. And, um, 
Oh, thank you, Caroline. Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. I had a good time, too. Thank you, you guys. I think my dad was on here for a little bit, but I, I could tell he fell asleep. <laughs> so, I will see you all guys later, probably most likely the weekend. I don't know if I'll have time to come on during the week. But, thank you all. I will see you all later. Bye. <laughs>